In this video, you will learn how to configure a new world with Voxel Play 3 from scratch, step by step in a few minutes. Go to Game Object, Voxel Play, Create Voxel Play Environment. You can select the default Voxel Play environment, or with the UI elements. In our case, and to make things more fluid, we will select the second option that will also save you time. Create or assign a new world definition asset. By selecting Voxel Play Environment and hitting Create, you will see that the World Editor now is enabled and you can start editing the chunks that are generated in the world. Voxel Play will automatically create a new world definition asset and place it inside a resources folder. You should place any other Voxel asset used in this world inside this folder. Go to Terrain Settings and configure the steps. The multi-step terrain generator let you define one or more steps which are executed sequentially to calculate the height of the terrain at any position. This generator is just a way to generate heights. Voxel Play is very extensible and allows you to use a custom terrain generator as explained in the documentation. Our goal is to create a desert environment and the step is configured as it follows. Sample Height Map Texture to make the generation based on a height map texture, which we also designated in the corresponding slot. Frequency. The closer to zero, the more stretch the world. We picked 0.5 to have higher number of peaks. Min and max let you map the noise values of the texture to this range. I set max to 0.1 to obtain low hills instead of very high mountains. In addition, we can add another step that complements the previous one, for example, threshold. This option checks a value for a minimum. If the value is equal or greater than the minimum, output that value plus an optional number. If the value is less than the minimum, replace it by a constant value. The threshold step will assure having planes among the different dunes that will be created. The final value returned by the steps which should be in the range of 0 to 1 will be multiplied by the max height parameter of the terrain generator to determine the terrain altitude. Now go to World Editor and reset the world. In the Project folder, go to Voxel Play, Resources, Worlds, Name of Your World, Biomes, and create a new folder that will contain your Voxel definition which will define the visual components of the scene, like textures, trees, vegetation, and more. Inside the folder, right-click, Create, Voxel Play, Voxel Definition, and give it a name, for example, Desert Top. Assign the Texture Top, Texture Side, and Texture Bottom in their slots. Now duplicate the voxel definition, name it Desert Dirt, for example, and assign the dirt texture. Go to the biome asset and assign the voxel top and voxel dirt that we previously created in their corresponding slots. If you hit Reset World, you will see the texture correctly applied, and your voxel scene will already start to have the first looks of your amazing upcoming voxel world. Now that the world is created and ready to be played on, the next step is to create our first person controller. Go to Game Object, Voxel Play, Create First Person Controller. Now we have a first person controller created with all the dependencies. As a hint, we recommend activating the Start on Flat option which allows the first-person controller to start on a flat surface in the project. At this point, if you hit play, everything will work well and your voxel world is ready to further be shaped as you desire. It's time to add some trees, vegetation, ores, and define other additional settings that might correspond to your scene. I will define a gold element in the ores tab, found in the biome element. Add the element. Assign to voxel definition. Define the probability of finding this ore. Set the vein size and count. Now set the tree density and add the tree elements with the probability of spawning from 0 to 1. In this case, we configured three cactus types with equal probability of spawning. The same steps apply for the vegetation.
Additionally, you can assign different biomes with different settings. For example, I want higher points of the environment to avoid spawning trees and vegetation. To do that, I will duplicate my current biome, give it a different name, and disable trees and vegetation, and finally define the altitude from which each biome should be rendered. For these biomes to work, go to Voxel Play Environment, World Settings, Biomes, and assign all the biomes in their slots. Finally, hit Reset World and everything should look based on the previous settings. This is how our world looks after all the finished configuration. This is how easy and fast you can configure a new world in Voxel Play 3. It's time for you to enjoy playing with all these settings and obtain great results.